what is going on guys welcome back for another video on GANs so in this video I want to take a look at how we can build a model uh, where we can also decide what the output should be so for example if we're training on just normal MNIST we can say that you know I want digits of zero and then the generator will will generate that digit for us All right, so uh, for this video, I'm going to base our implementation from VGAN uh, and specifically VGAN GP. So if you haven't watched that video in this series of GANs, I recommend you watch that first. Uh, in, that, in, in that way, I don't have to sort of repeat everything I did in that video. But so essentially, uh, I'm going to modify the model first. So here we have the discriminator that we implemented in that video. Let me just make this full screen. Uh, what we want to do here is add something that will... Um, I guess, that we send in the label uh, to the discriminator and the generator. Uh, one way to do this, and there are sort of many ways to, to make the GAN uh, conditional. So this is, you know, what we're implementing here is a conditional GAN where we generate something conditioned on a label. So, you know, the condition can be that this digit should be a 5 or, or a 0, whatever. One way to do this, which I find sort of the easiest, uh, is that we create an embedding so we do n uh, we do n dot embedding, and then we take some number of classes to some image size times some image size. All right, so let me explain why this is going to make sense. So first, we're just going to take some number of classes, and we're also going to take some image size to the discriminator. So what what is going to happen here is that um, we are going to create this embedding in our in our forward right here. So we're going to do, you know, uh, self.embed of labels. So, of course, then we need to send in the labels for in the forward. So we send, we do the embedding on the labels, and then we call this, you know, just embedding. And so what you can view this as is since it will be image size times image size, it's going to be, you know, sort of uh, an additional uh, channel in a way, right? So we have RGB where the height and the width is the image size. So what we can do is we can just do reshape or I guess dot view and we can do labels shape zero and then one and then image size. Oh, and then we got to do self dot image size comma self dot image size. All right, something like that. And then I guess we got to add that to the top here. So self dot image size is image size. All right. So what we're doing here is we're reshaping it to be just with this one additional right here and we're doing it so that the height is image size and the width is image size. And so what I want to do then is change the input x to be torch.cat of x and embedding and then dimension equals 1. All right? So the you know for the first dimension dimension 0 we have the number of examples in our batch then we have channels and then we have sort of the image size or the height and then image size or the width. So all we got to do then is we just got to do uh, plus one in the model and that's it. So, you know, how you can view this is that we have, you know, our original image and now we've just sort of added additional channel, just one additional channel uh, where this is sort of a stamp that we're sending into the discriminator. We're saying, you know, here's the, um, here's the image. And here's the additional stamp for what that image is. And so we're giving the discriminator the information what the digit also is, the label of it. Okay, so then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for the generator. So I guess, so I guess for the generator, uh, we're going to need to add some stuff in our init method as well. All right, so we got to add the number of classes, uh, the image size, and then we also got to add some embed size. So I guess we can do self.image size equals image size. And here we got to do sort of one, you know, the same thing in that we add an embedding. But remember here is in that uh, the embedding now has to be added to this noise that we're sending in. Um, because here we're sending in just some, some latent vector uh, Z that is converted or generated into an image. So uh, what we do here is we take some number of classes to some embed size. 
So the embed size doesn't have to be just, you know, we're not going to add this as an additional channel. We're just going to output it in some dimension, some embed size. And here for the sort of the forward, we're going to add some labels and we're going to do um, sort of the same thing. And then we create an embedding, embed of labels. Uh, but what we got to do here is we got to sort of add dimensions. So we got to unsqueeze and then unsqueeze again. So remember the the sort of the input to this. Uh, so the latent vector Z is N times, uh, you know, um, I guess noise dimension times one times one because it's inputted as just noise dimension channels, which is just normally dis distributed random values. And then to add these together, the embedding and the latent vector Z, you know, the, the X that's coming in, we need to unsqueeze so that we also have times one times one at the end. So then we do X is torch.cat uh, of X and the embedding. And we do that for dimension equals one. And then we just send that through our, our generator. I guess one thing here is that you know, the first for the generator is the channel's noise, but now it's also, we got to add the embed size. So that's all we got to do. So, you know, how this works is that now the generator knows so, sort of the information of which label it should produce. Uh, and the discriminator has the information what the image actually should be. So in this way, um, for the generator to be able to actually fool the discriminator, it, got, it has to learn also to output the right digit uh, when we, you know, from the label that we give it. All right, hopefully I didn't forget anything about this, but otherwise I guess we're going to get an error later on, but I think that should be um, it. Uh, then for the gradient penalty, uh, all we're going to add is just uh, labels because now the critic or, you know, the discriminator um, that we now in the forward propagation, we're just sending the labels as well. Uh, even if they, you know, we just want to take the gradient of with respect to the interpolated images, uh, we have to send in the labels uh, for for the credit to do to do anything. So here I just send in the labels, and that's the gradient penalty. That's all we gotta change on that one. So let me go to the training file, and let's see here what we gotta add. So you know we have some image size right here. Uh, we have some channels image. We got to add the number of classes. So that's going to be 10. And we got to add the generator uh, embedding. And this is a high parameter. We can just set it to 100. And that's, yeah, I'm just going to add those two. So that's it for that. And then we got to go into sort of the generator and the discriminator. This is going to now take additional inputs. So we have, let's see, we have the channels image. We have the feature gen what feature gen there we go feature gen and then we gotta have uh the num classes uh the the image size and then the generator embedding all right so that's just sort of what we just added to the uh to the to the model we want to send in the number of classes the image size and then the generator embedding Similar thing for the discriminator. I want to send in just the number of classes and the image size. All right. So now we have those uh, sent in. And, and then, of course, we know we have to, before, you know, target labels were not needed and hard unsupervised. Unfortunately, we got to remove that because for the conditional again, we need the labels. So let's take the labels. And let's uh, labels dot to device. Let's send it to the GPU if we can. And then we got uh, you know the generator here. We're gonna send in the labels. We're gonna send in the labels. We're gonna send in the labels. Everything needs information about the labels, the gradient penalty. Uh, we're gonna send that in as well. Uh, same thing here. Labels. I think that's it. Oh yeah, we need to change it here too for the generator right here and labels. And I guess instead of sending in some fixed noise, let's just send in the noise um, to make sure the labels actually match. So uh, some noise and then the labels. 
And you know what? I think that's actually it. Hopefully there are no more stuff. Uh, well, let's see. We can, I mean, we can just run it, right? All right. Got to activate my environment uh, like that. So rerun it. Okay, image size, that should be image size. Or you know what? It actually makes more sense to have it just image size. So let me change it up here instead, image size. And then let's check also if we wrote that somewhere else. Yeah, it did. And that's it. So hopefully it works. <laughs>